Welcome back to Circuit Design. Mr. Live here again. I'm going to show you what we're doing for today and a little way to declutter your inbox. At least you should consider it. So if you click here, you go down to settings, scroll down, you see under receive email notifications, there are a bunch of options. You probably want to receive these, these, these. You might not want to receive these. Probably should, probably should. I mean, definitely should. And then, I don't know if you want this or not. It really depends on how synchronous you are. Okay. Class notifications. Email and mobile notifications. I'm going to leave these on for these classes because these shouldn't arrive but if you want to turn off notifications for just one class you'd go here so your email inbox isn't blown up every day if you're here for every class synchronously you probably don't need emails for every single thing that's posted okay that was the first thing the second one we're going to go into our classroom classwork so what we'll do every day uh Right here. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> so yesterday we covered how to short circuit something, what are circuits, and we built a little circuit. Today we are going to try to short circuit that and put a, a video of us short circuiting it up. Hmm. Wow. Kind of fighting me here. So this was our short circuit with our battery. It's a no-no. Overheat the battery. It can catch fire, it can melt, it can spray battery acid everywhere. Those are all no-nos. A classic way to prevent it is a fuse. We're not at that stage yet though. So AC versus DC. I have a video link right here. You watch the video and then you go into the submission right here. If you submitted it already, unsubmit it. We're not going to submit this until it's completely done, all the way on the bottom, all right? I can always look at it whether or not you submit it, so don't worry about me being unable to check, okay? After you watch the ACDC video, you have a couple questions to answer here. After you watch the analog versus digital, there are two questions here. And once you finish that, that's probably a good time to loop back and try to go to our simulation again, where you will make something short circuit. Then once you've made a video of it, you'll go into Screencastify. Screencastify will uh, record the video of it short circuiting and you can submit it to me. Okay. So we'll talk a tiny bit about AC versus DC alternating. These, this is a graph of the voltage. It's going up and down. This is also a graph of voltage. It stays at a constant level. <clears throat> this little diagram here, this up and down sign, uh, this is called a sine wave and it shows it's going up and down and up and down, which means it's going this way, then it's going this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. This sign means a resistor. This is a direct current like a battery. It's just going one way, okay? Uh, doo -doo -doo. And then for analog and digital. Digital is always going to be high. So the, the S-axis is time. So it's always high and then low. 